Hi, welcome to the first of the series of Business of Apps tutorials introducing two cost per marketing acronyms you might see when you're doing your mobile marketing. I'm George Osborne, and in this video, we're going to be looking at CPM. So first thing first, what is CPM? Well, CPM stands for cost per mil, and it's taken from the Latin for a thousand. It basically ends up meaning that an advertiser will pay an advert publisher a certain amount of money every time a thousand people see the adverts. It could be an interstitial, it could be a banner ad, or it could be another type of advert. But the key thing is, is that it's a thousand impressions on an advert is when you end up paying a bit of money. So how exactly does it work? Well, it's pretty simple actually when you look at it. You've just opened up this page and you've just seen the advert that's sitting right in the middle of this app, of this basically app stream. So that ends up equaling one impression. And that's, that's pretty much it. So I put in little speech marks there that you saw the advert. You see, you don't necessarily have to have even actually seen it. You might have scrolled past it. You might have not paid attention to it. You might even have just opened the page and shut it. But that ends up counting as an impression. So I think some of you already will probably be thinking, I know some disadvantages of this approach, but I'm just going to quickly run you through the pros and cons of the reason why you might be considering CPM for your particular mobile marketing efforts. So we're gonna look at the CPM pros first. And one of the big pros is that actually getting set up with a CPM campaign is pretty easy. As the only tracking comes from the provider, check the number of page views, you just need to provide your, the assets and away you go. And some providers and platforms even allow you to basically put your marketing assets in yourself, meaning that actually, if you want to get a CPM campaign set up, you can probably do it relatively easily, maybe even within about 10, 15 minutes if you end up finding the right place. Another big plus is that CPM advertising is pretty widespread across mobile. You know, it's not just present on mobile optimized web pages, it's in thousands of apps as well, uh, mostly because developers can easily set it up using some form of SDK. And so that means that you're almost always gonna find somewhere that will be able to host your advertising. I mean, if you're thinking about reasons why you might want to use it, number three is a great one. It can be useful for increasing this brand awareness. Um, and basically that's really, really useful if you've got a product that maybe you just want to seed in people's minds, that you want them to think about a little bit more and that maybe they might pass over the advert now, but they'll go back to it later because you, the rest of your marketing campaign will pick them up. So, I mean, a good example of this is something like a film, like, you know, maybe the trailer for The Hobbit that's recently come out, or maybe it's perhaps talking about one of those Black Friday sales. You maybe do some CPM banner advertising to raise the brand awareness and then you go and hit them with a TV advert to basically convert them into consumers. So it can be useful in that sense. And ultimately, one of the other main reasons why it's actually quite a useful format at times is because the pricing is predictable for both advertiser and publisher. So in the sense of the advertiser, they know for a fact that a publisher will promise them a certain amount of traffic, and unless that traffic massively and wildly variates, it varies between, say, thousands of people. It would have to be, say, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even hundreds of hundreds of thousands of people to swing it to make your marketing budget suddenly look a bit weaker. Whereas on the other hand, for the publisher, what they can say is, well, I know for a fact that, say, I get 10,000 views to my app every day. If I put in CPM advertising and say it costs $5, I know for a fact that I could get, say, 50 bucks every day from doing that. And so it's a good system in that sense is that it provides solid returns for the, the publisher and the advertiser generally tends to know how much they're going to be spending. But despite the pros of CPM, I think there are arguably a lot more cons for you to consider. The major con from a user perspective is that it's regularly intrusive on mobile. So it ends up taking up, you know, literally quite a large part of your phone screen or your tablet screen. Banner ads will end up sticking out the bottom of a gaming app. You might have interstitials pop up during the middle of an experience or just something that will be flashing in the middle of your adverts. And the reason why you get all of those things is that they're trying to make sure that those adverts are seen. And the reason why they're trying to make sure they're seen is because actually they need to prove to advertisers that it works. Because for anyone who uses performance advertising, it is frustratingly imprecise. You know, a CPM advert generates at best, say, a 1% conversion rate on mobile, and it tends to hover much lower to below sort of about 0.5% if you're looking at, say, a future campaign of using banner advertising. And so when you end up thinking about value for money, it ends up becoming pretty tr difficult and pr pretty tricky to work out whether anyone's actually gone and worked through to your app. And that kind of comes to the crux of the matter about CPM. You know, whether you're advertising an app or if you're advertising a website, whatever it is, you end up paying for impressions through CPM without any guarantee that anyone interacts with it or that the people who are actually interacting with it are actually doing anything in terms of helping you out. 
Are they good quality users who are going to use your app regularly? Are they people who are likely to sign up and subscribe? The true honest, honest answer is that it's no. That it's really a no. And you pay irrespective of whether or not they interact with you. And that really opens you up to the last major weakness of cost per mil, which is that you can open yourself up to fraudulent interactions. So in this case, you know, you can say, well, not only am I potentially getting thousands of views, but I don't necessarily know where they're coming from. You can end up having this real problem where you might think you're advertising this high quality free to play game, but actually your inventory is being sold on. And because it's impressions based, you could easily find yourself in a Chinese app, which is having thousands, you know, possibly even more than that interactions and impressions being generated that are completely fake, that are completely false as a result of bot farms using fake IDs. And so that's the real issue about cost per mill is that it's really imprecise, is that you pay irrespective of interaction and user quality. And really it's it's quite an intrusive form, format as well. And that cost per mill advertising is just generally something that kind of pushes itself into the mind of the user. So is it really worth it? Well, to be totally honest, I think it's a bit of an overhang from web days, but it's always worth trying out CPM adverts, but you're not going to be someone who I reckon relies on them if you want to be successful in mobile. So in particular, I think they're good for big name brands and products who can rely on the fact that this CPM advertising will be complemented by much more targeted advertising in the rest of the marketing mix. It's great for increasing awareness if you're trying to, say, advertise a sale and you want to, again, tie it into a broader marketing mix. And it's very good if you're a publisher who's looking for very clear returns that are positive and for an advertiser who's maybe want to try and keep their costs under control. But it's bad for anyone who considers themselves a performance advertiser. And it's bad in general for anyone looking for ROI. If you're looking for a CPM advert to basically return its investment, you're probably going to be waiting a long time. It's very difficult to track anyone and it's very difficult to work out if it actually makes you money in the long run. And so ultimately, it's pretty bad for most advertisers in the app industry, really, because that lack of performance and that lack of action-based measurement means that actually you can rarely get true value for money from it. And so that's it from this tutorial. Next time out, we're going to be checking out cost per engagement or CPE adverts to see how well they work. Until then, make sure you subscribe to the Business of Apps on our YouTube channel and we'll be back again soon with another video. See you around.